Привет, stalkers, how are you? So in this video, I will show you a mod that no one knows about and is going to change how you play Stalker Anomaly forever because this mod allows you to play Stalker Anomaly like an actual RPG shooter. This is the classes and talents mod. This mod adds classes and skill trees that you can choose and level up over time. Every class will come with its advantages and disadvantages. Each class has its own set of unique skills and abilities. Every skill tree has a maximum level cap of 16 levels, so you can only invest 16 points in each skill tree, and some skills will need number of levels in a lower tier skill to be unlocked. Each class will have 4 categories of skills, which are offensive, defensive, endurance, and speech. You can level them depending on what you are doing. Offensive levels up when you're doing damage to an enemy. Defensive levels up when you take damage, also when your character gets radiation. While endurance levels up as you are walking or running. Now speech was confusing because I thought that speech levels up by speaking to NPCs or doing tasks. But no, it levels up only when you are buying or selling items to the traders. By the way, you can activate this mod with your old save as it will still work. There's no need to make a new character. You can also reset the class and skills of your character by spending 100,000 rubles. The classes and talents mod will allow you to choose one of these six classes. You can choose from Sniper, Trooper, Heavy Infantry, Monster Hunter, Bounty Hunter, and the last but not least, the Assassin class. Now let's go and check each class in more detail. Let's start from the Sniper, which specializes in long range weapons. When you choose the Sniper, you will get a 10% speed bonus and the minus 10 kilogram carry weight debuff but you will also do a lot more damage with any sniper you can also do a lot more damage with your pistol outfit wise you will have to use medium or light outfits only because you will lose some bonuses if you don't do so Another thing to look at is the defense. You get burn, chemical and shock bonuses and you also get a buff from radiation. The sniper class gets a critical chance buff when you shoot with your sniper rifle. Next class is called the trooper and it is a very versatile fighter that specializes in assault rifles, submachine guns and explosives. They're also quite good with a shotgun. The trooper specializes with heavy, medium and scientific armor. It's a very balanced class, it doesn't have any bonuses or penalties. They also do well when they fight in a group with other stalkers. If you're looking to build a good all-around soldier to fight in the zone, I recommend you to take this class. Well stalkers, we are halfway through this video, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do a lot of Stalker Anomaly and Gamma Guides and I love testing new mods and show them to the Stalker Anomaly community. If you want to make a heavy close range fighter, then you should try the heavy fighter. The heavy fighter gets a negative 10% less speed but gets 10 kg of extra carry weight. Mostly specializes with heavy machine guns and shotguns. They prefer wearing heavy armor and exosuits for combat. Also they get an extra damage bonus with melee weapons.
You can also invest some skill points to use machine guns and medium armors. Heavy fighters have really good resistance to Psy and physical damage. If you like mutant hunting to get extra cash, then you can try the mutant hunter. The mutant hunter is average with all weapons and prefers to wear heavy and medium outfits. Also, you can get a damage boost with any melee weapon that you use. They have a passive bonus of 5% speed and a debuff of 5 kilos carry weight. The mutant hunter has a defense boost versus rupture and strike. Also gets a boost of psi protection. You have a special skill which allows you to sell mutant meat for much higher price. And also allows you to eat mutant meat with less radiation effects. If you are looking for a specialized stalker that's good at hunting mutants, make sure to choose this one. Similar to the mutant hunter, we got the bounty hunter, which specializes at hunting other stalkers for money in the zone. This class gets extra damage when using assault rifles, sniper, pistols and SMGs. Heavy and medium outfits give you extra bonus and extra protection against ballistics while getting a lot of negative debuffs against structure and strike damage. Also gets a negative 5% speed but gains 5 kg extra carry weight. Bounty Hunters has a special skill that allows him to find more money on stalkers that they took down. Another very specialized class is the Assassin. The Assassin is specialized with pistols and SMGs. Melee weapons are very effective with this build, allowing you to do critical damage to your victims. You get the same buffs like the sniper. 10% speed, negative 10 kg carry weight. This class gets bonuses if you are wearing light, medium or scientific suits. This class has special perks when you are disguised as stalkers from other factions, making it very stealthy and lethal class that you can choose. So stalkers, which class will you choose? Which skills will you unlock and level first? Comment down below and share your favorite builds. Hope that you viewers found this video useful, it actually took me a lot of time and research to do this video so make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to my content. Bye and thank you for watching.